Hi, I'm Trevor Somerville, a beef farmer from between Donoghmore and Pomeroy in County Tyrone. Um, we're mainly calf the beef system here. Um, I took part in the EIP group because, uh, as I say, we're calf the beef here, and the worms is a bigger one of the bigger challenges on the calf the beef side, um, trying to get the timing of the worms right and the dosing and maybe reducing what the amount of dosing and stuff over the long term I suppose resistance is starting to become a bit more of a problem so that's what piqued me interest in the EIP for, for the reduced worming. So, uh, so far um, the steps we've taken is we've made use of the fact pack machine on the program um, and it's sampling before we dose and then checking again if the dose has worked with the pre and post sampling and then I've also used some husk back vaccine in some of the animals for the lungworms so they shouldn't hopefully need dose or only need, they are need less dosing for stomach worms so that's the steps we've taken so far. Second year, probably a continuation of the first year, we'll maybe hope to try a bit more targeted selective treatment and maybe not worm all the animals in one batch and try and see is there much of a burden left in a batch or particularly ones maybe with high daily live weight gains or ones with low daily live weight gains and try and see is there a correlation between the two and maybe look at more pasture and see the higher risk pastures and maybe try and avoid using them for calves at some point and just Rather than what we have sort of done the first year and continue maybe using some of the husk back as well. Challenges is, I suppose, is rather than following a calendar, just in dosing them certain dates, you're out taking samples and then analysing them or sending them away to get analysed and then results back. So maybe weigh in a wee bit more often to try and see as animals perform and as the worms affect them so it's maybe a wee bit more time consuming but you get all our information when you're doing them sorts of things and like we're trying to reduce our reliance because some of the majority of people just tend to go with ivermectins and they're not just becoming as effective as they used to be so just trying to maybe get a better understanding and when dose when we need to but not when we don't sort of thing. So that's the challenges that we're trying to overcome.